Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. I'm hoping you can hear me once again tonight. I can't talk as loud. I've got this going on. <laughs> but I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can and I'm probably going to put you on um, speed and music a lot tonight. But when I got home today, I had this package waiting on me. This is the Cotton Cuts Tree of Life. I do the monthly. I don't buy, I don't pay for mine by the quarter or the whole thing at once. I do mine monthly just because it, for me, it's more economical to do that. So this is going to be clue number two. We received our blocks of the month. Normally we have more in there. Oh, it's probably in the package. So. Uh, let me give you one second here, or you give me one second here. I will have my box up here that's got my color chart and all in it, and we can get into this clue. Okay, if you are not aware of who Cotton Cuts is, I will have their information down in the description box. Uh, you can go check them out. They do have multiple puzzle mystery quilts. They have fabric subscriptions. Uh, they have several things that you can actually uh, pick and choose if you want a monthly or something like that. But this is the colorway that I am using. It is called Woodland. I am going to get my fabrics into my acrylic tray here. And we will get started. I will show you my colors though. Here, here is my packet. This is what it looks like if you get the monthly packet. I am doing the large quilt for the Tree of Life. And all your fabrics come pre-cut. Is that not nice? Look at there. All of it pre-cut. I keep my bag. So, and y'all, I thought I was I thought I was gonna be able to use my old mic, but I can't find it. I don't know where it's at. And I still haven't got the new mic to work yet. But I am going to put my fabrics in my case, and then we will start sewing. For the clue two, we're only using four fabrics, four separate fabrics. Ooh. And it looks like we're making, wow. It looks like they're all exactly the same. So it looks like we're eight, making eight blocks. I will carry you through making the first one, and then I'll just go fast through the, the rest of them. So, and it looks like it's pretty simple. So, let's get to it. Okay, for the first step, let's see. Large clue two. I'm just reading my instructions here because I have a tendency of not reading them and I mess up. So I will show you that's what we'll be making. So we have we'll be using A and D. And I will show you this here. If you're not familiar with cotton cuts, this is what your colorway looks like. And you will see each of those colors has a letter on it. So that, that is how I will be referring to it. We will be taking A's and D's and making flying geese. We're going to be making eight of those. So for the A's, this is our fabric A. So we actually need a total of 16 of these because we need two per square. So our flying geese. So I only need eight. Okay, and that's what I have here. So I will be taking my A and putting it on each side of my D to make a flying geese unit. So let's get started with this. We are going to be making eight of them. The good thing about cotton cuts is they do pre-cut all of their fabric. It looks like it's, 
I don't know if it's laser cut or not, but it is so accurate on the cutting. And it makes it makes this so easy to do. And we're doing it all on that quarter of an inch as well. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do all eight, and then I'm going to press. Because when you put a flying geese together, you won't... I don't know if these are where they will match up, but even if they're not, I want to press them before I sew the, the second triangle on there. Y'all, when I came in from work today, I didn't know if I was going to be recording or not because I just feel so bad, but <clears throat> I just have a lot of drainage going on, but that just makes you feel absolutely horrible, but we have a lot of stuff in bloom, so I just hope we don't get another freeze and it kills everything. A lot of people already have potatoes in their gardens and beans in their gardens. All I have is stuff that's perennial that will come up every year. I forgot to tell y'all in the video yesterday that um, about my sunflowers. I don't intentionally grow some things. They just kind of grow. Well, sunflowers is one of those things because I intentionally planted some last year. And I had a little patio uh, container bed thing. It's a little square one. Well, rectangle one on wheels. And uh, I grew some beautiful, beautiful sunflowers in it. I just put it out there. I know it was out in the weather. It's probably going to be dry rotted from the sun and the heat we had last year because it was bad last year. Um, but I had some of the most beautiful sunflowers. They were gorgeous. Well, when they, when the sunflowers, you know, kind of died back, I know I could have plucked the head and, and kept the seeds or whatever. I didn't. I didn't do that because I don't know when to do that. And I don't know when a seed is actually viable to keep. I don't know any of that. I need to learn all of that. But so anyway, what I did, some of them had a, a really small head. They didn't have a, a large sunflower seed head, whatever those things are called. So I just dropped, I just, you know, clipped them. When I was um, cleaning out my containers. And I just clipped them and dropped the head down in the dirt. Because I was like, well, it'll compost in there. Because I figured it was all dead. And it doesn't matter because I have seeds. I have packets and packets and packets of sunflower seeds. And my goal was this year I was going to do a pink sunflower. Well, when I was out there... The other day, looking, I noticed that there was a lot of something growing in that little container. And I'm just like, why do I have something growing in this container? You know, I I, I know it shouldn't have weeds growing in it. But lo and behold, it is actually sunflowers that has rerooted themselves from the seeds. So... I will have sunflowers, I guess, in that thing every year because I'm not going to harvest sunflowers because I don't, I don't eat sunflowers. I don't eat nuts. Um, 
I, I just don't eat nuts, and I'm getting to where I don't eat a lot of veg certain vegetables. I'll eat like asparagus, and I will eat strawberries, but there's a lot of things I'm finding that I cannot eat. And I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older, you know. It could just be because I'm getting older. Because all the stuff that I really like is the stuff that I really can't eat. So, <laughs> I like some cornbread and I like some peas, but they don't like me. So, I just I avoid them. I don't eat them. And if I do eat them, it's like special occasions. And it's very little of it. And I have a kitty cat down here talking to me. I don't know what her, her goal is today, but she's been on one since I've been home. I came in today and I even, I just sat down in my recliner and I took a nap. Because my head is feeling so congested. But I knew I got my clue in. And I'm like, I want to get that done. I want to share that. And I knew if I didn't do it, as soon as it comes in, it probably won't get done. That's, I mean, that's like those um, other blocks that I have not done. Because... I didn't sit down and do them that day when I, they came out so I'm just I have to make a deliberate effort when it comes in to do it because if I want to have this done I have to do it I have to do it that way or it for some reason I won't get it done that's like I got some little bunny rabbits over here that is going to go with my grandbaby's Easter baskets. And it's not like I hadn't had them a month or more. And my daughter-in-law brought me one for my, my granddaughter. I just haven't got it done. I really haven't had time to do it. So, I'm going to press these out real quick. And then I'll be right back. And I have these pressed. Y'all look how beautiful these are. It's going to be beautiful. <clears throat> so now what I'm doing is putting the other side on to complete my flying geese unit. And yeah, I've been thinking about this. I've been um, on YouTube now. July will, I think it's July, will be a year. And I don't think I've ever done a Q&A. So feel free, if you want to ask me a question... You know, if you want to ask me a question, feel free to do that. Leave it in um, the comments, or I'll put a community post out, and I may just do a sit-down Q&A for you, or I may just use it as a topic to talk on while I'm sewing. I don't know. <laughs> I get so easily distracted while I'm sewing that I'm, I may not need to do that while I'm sewing. I may actually need to do a Q&A. Just to kind because of, I know some people probably want to get to know a little bit more about me. I know I would love to get to know more about y'all. I mean, that would be super. Now, I, I will not do a live because um, our internet here where I live, is not the greatest so a live is almost impossible for me to do
because sometimes y'all see a video video and you'll see it's edited but a lot of times i'm editing out internet glitches um where it freezes or because just because the internet freezes uh, my phone does not stop it's still recording i'm just frozen <laughs> So if it sounds like I'm jumping from one topic to another with like no flow through to it, just know that's what happened. My my internet froze and um which we do have a really good internet here. Now, I know I said I was only going to do one and then speed you through, but it it just looks so much easier when I have multiple of them like this to do it all at once. So, that's what I'm doing all at once. <laughs> But I am hoping this is going to be a short video because, like I said, I am a little bit under the weather. And I really want to go take a steam shower. Put one of my steamers in my shower to open my head up real good. Those things are fabulous. Have you ever just used them just to use them? They're really good. They make your skin feel really good, too. Okay, this is our eighth one. Once I get it done, I will be pressing them and trimming if I need to. Sometimes I need to. Sometimes I get too scant of an inch, quarter inch. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just spot on. Normally, if you sew at their quarter of an inch, you're right on. You don't have to worry about trimming anything up. We have our eight flying geese done. So now our next step is to make more flying, make eight more flying geese. Oh, it looks like we're going to make 16 more flying geese. Wow. geese so now we are to start constructing uh, a block I guess yeah so we're using our A and D and then we have the E and D and then our last piece is D and B 
and I'm trying to see how that one goes. Okay. Okay. So I will show you this block once it is completed. Now this is just part of the unit. This is the uh, the right side of the unit. But I am going to go ahead and flip that over. Make sure I don't have any seams that nest and I don't. what that unit looks like pressed out so now let me get the other side to that unit we're going to take an a a d and a b and this is our d i'm going to go ahead and put those two together And now we add a B to that D. Guys, I think what I'm probably going to do is uh, just get this one done for you so you can see it and then call it a night. So this is what they're going to look like. And they all press towards the top. So I'll be right back after I press. There is that second unit. So I am going to go ahead and put this together. We put this unit to the left side of the panel. These seams are going to nest, so I'm pulling my pins out because when I have nested seams, I do like to pin it to make sure it holds it in place. And if nothing else lines up the way it's supposed to, as long as these seams do, I'm good. As they say, it's golden. <laughs> Okay, let me press this, and then I will show you the finished block. Okay, guys, this is our finished block for clue number two of Tree of Life. This is the Woodland colorway. I will make seven more of these, but as for you guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. I'm sorry, I'm short of breath here. Um... And as always, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you've not yet, and feel free to leave a comment. I will respond to each and every comment personally, and as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.